Hello everyone, it's Terry and welcome back to my channel, TD Orchids. And today I finally got the greenhouse, for the most part 90% cleared out of everything that's going outside. I got the floor vacuumed. Next I'm going to tackle these windows, but I just wanted to do a very fast little update on what's been going on. I moved this table that was blocking that doorway over here put some of the, my little uh, seedlings um, over here. Um, some of my more water requiring plants that are sitting in pots. This is a mounted orchid, a dendrobium that I just got. Well, it was last summer, late last summer, it's dendrobium nudum. And this is actually, a, it's not a, den a deciduous dendrobium, but it, uh, because it, you, you still water it year round and it gets little flowers along the the canes. It is a cooler grower, so I'll have to make sure that I keep my eye on that. Here is still in bloom my Michael Kupovich, Paphia Pedalum Michael Kupovich crossed with Roth Chilianum. Um, these little ones that I have up here. There's a flower for you right there. That's Boba Phil and Gracillamon. And if my camera or I'm on this phone was not acting up, I would give you a better picture. There's another flower. There is the mound, it is, uh, there's the plant, it is mounted. Next to it is, uh, this is Boba Phil and Ambrosia. And this is not a boba film, I don't think. I think it's a dendrobium. Yeah, pugniforme. Okay. Up here, this phalaenopsis, which is a cross between Gigantia and Bud. This is my compote of uh, compote of uh, Angricum florentulum, and it's got some new growth. Well, not new growth, but it's it's still growing from the top. This is a reed stem growing Angricum, very fragrant, one of the most fragrant Angricums. White star-shaped flower with a spur. Looks more like a Jumelia, actually. This is my Nigelia puperata. Little dainty flowers. Um, up here, this is my Erides hulatiana with two spikes on it, looking very delicious. I left this one inside, uh, since it was in spike, I will put it outside once the, once it buds, once the buds open. And I still plan on taking this Vanda out today, which is Sansai Blue. This Brasabola, cross right here. Well, it's not really, well, it is a Brasabola cross, but it's crossed with an epidendrum. Brasabola, it's got some buds on it. Here's a bud down here on my Dendrobium divanianum. Here's the plant right here. And the spike comes, no, not the spike, but the cane comes down to there with one little bud on it. I noticed today also this one was blooming last update. This is my BC Green Dragon. And there's a flower speck right there with a couple of buds on it. Very small plant. Got a lot of nice new growth signs. There's some green root tips right there. Back behind here, this is my area ornata and I love areas and I collect them. Uh, the thing about this one is that I don't know what these, I guess these could still be new growths, 
there's another one on the other side that looks very similar to it. But the thing about these is the it's more or less grown for the foliage. And the foliage, the new foliage, is an orangish, very vivid orange tint. It does like a high, highlight situation. Here's the whole plant. Short spots through the bulbs. Here's the other new growth that's over on the other side of the growth door. It's a new spike. I'm not quite sure. It's not bloomed for me yet. Right next to it, well, these mostly, mostly everything up here is a seedling that I've had for some time. Most of them have not bloomed for me. Um, yeah, nothing really new over here. Pretty much the status quo, except for up here, my Stanhopia grad night is buds are getting ever so fat. And you can actually see spots and some coloration on the top of the, the outside of the buds. Looks very orangish. All right. Oncidium astolabium, still looking really nice. This is my new growth on my Bulbophyllum phalaenopsis. Okay, that's about it in here, and here's outside. My shade cloth, I mistakenly bought a 40% shade cloth. Last year I had 50, but surprisingly my plants don't look like they are suffering. spend too much time out here. There's not much going on except for a lot of new growth. I am going to have to cut this wisteria back all the way to the arbor because it's providing too much shade. Way too much shade. But yeah, I think I have mostly everything out here. Yeah. I just wanted to get the color of this that lay on camera even though the flower is gone. But this was um, Catlea Elysia Muse crossed with ELC Toshia Yuki Pizzazz. Thing that I want to show you before I cut this video off is my Dendrobium Kaniko. It has opened up. See how that camera just snaps back? It's just a bum camera. But there's a lot of flowers on it. A lot more than I thought. I'm really glad that I got this plant. This is a natural occurring hybrid. Goldsmithianum and Bolinianum. No, it's Victoria Regina Regen I crossed with Goldsmithianum. That's about it. I've got these fat paths right here. This is Catlea Bialacea Muse crossed with BLC Toshio Yuki Pizzazz. Very rich color that I just wanted to show off to you. Hopefully I'll be able to get it in the uh, next time. Okay. Here. There's my one sitting in. No, it's my 
So I noticed earlier today, this is my Isis Arena. This is the new book. And I went beside it. It's the dog's one. Pretty reliable bloomer for me, as is this. This is Indica, really nice plant, just puts out the flower spikes like there's no tomorrow. Pretty little flower. But anyway, that is where I will end the video. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your orchids. Bye.